Shut up, you disgusting, pill-popping, sexual deviant scum. The Golden Globes are once again going out of their way to prove they're different from their esteemed award ceremony colleagues. At a time when Oscars and the Emmys went hostless this year, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association's NBC broadcast is putting a blast from the past front and center with the afterlife creator playing ringmaster and MC for a fifth time on January 5th, 2020. P-Dog! I'm not a P-Dog, and if I was, you'd be safe, you tubby little ginger cunt. Once again, they've made me an offer I can't refuse, Gervais said in a press release. But this is the very last time I'm doing this, which could make for a fun evening. Gervais hosted the show from 2010 to 2012, returning again for a fourth time in 2016. If you do win tonight, remember that no one cares about that award as much as you do, okay? When Ricky Gervais is at the helm of the Golden Globes Awards, we can always expect the unexpected, said president of the HFPA, Lorenzo Soria. When he's on stage, everybody looks scared and uncomfortable. He is insensitive, politically incorrect, and is not worried one bit about offending stars. Just looking at all the faces here reminds me of some of the great work that's been done this year by cosmetic surgeons. Um... Ricky's ability to make you cringe and laugh at the same time is based on observational skill. He has the ability to pick out the worst in people and take the piss out of that. In the non-Gervais years, the Globes have had duo Amy Poehler and Tina Fey host the show three times. In 2019, Sandra Oh and Andy Samberg co-hosted to delightful effect. But it seems the Hollywood Foreign Press Association just can't stay away from Gervais. Next year's Golden Globes will take place on January 5th, 2020. Who out there is excited to see Ricky Gervais once again hosting the Golden Globes? And which actors do you think he should set his sights on? Head down to the comments and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more such updates.